All right, we got Matthew Bowling here, second place in the 200. How do you feel about that, the result today, that and that? I'm really happy, to be honest. I came out here, I had a lot of fun. Um, and sometimes it's hard to have fun at big meets, but that was my goal, just come out, have fun. Everyone ran really well. I'm really happy with the result. I'm excited for next year. What's your relationship like with Joe? I'm sure you've raced him a bunch this year. Yeah, I mean, we raced three times maybe four this year. Raced all last year for SEC buddies, so so we're good friends, and I'm really happy for him. He did great. Yeah. And this season as a whole, you know, this was your first year under Carol Smith-Gilbert, right? So what's it been like, uh, I guess, making that adjustment? It's been great. I love Coach Carol. Um, I'm excited to keep getting work next year with her. Um, we got our first year in together, and I know she's already told me some um, exciting stuff that she hasn't showed us yet because it was too hard to introduce right off rip, but I'm excited to get to work. So did she make any things that she did introduce, like to any changes this year? Yeah, a lot. Can uh, you go into detail? Uh, I worked on some modeling on my 200, um, and a lot of just like like mental aspects too, like going out and executing um, on a high level, because like a lot of people don't understand, it's easy to run by yourself, but when you get a whole field together and just e focusing on executing, uh, it takes a lot of maturity. So um, learning that from one of the best coaches in the world was a blessing this year. Do you mind, what's modeling? Do you mind explaining that? Yeah, just, well for me, I really just, I try, try to keep it simple. Uh, run the first 60 of the curve and then um, not relax, but maintain for 30 and then attack um, at the at the uh, four by one near the four by one zone. So kind of just focusing on that and executing that. Matthew, to that point, uh, I mean obviously there's so many different ways that people can construct a great 200, right? How impressed are you with just his ability to to gobble up that ground at the end of the race? It's I mean pretty, he's done it three times today. Yeah, yeah, he's a very talented runner. Like I said, we're good friends, so. Um, it was exciting to see, see him do great at this meet. You talked about having fun, right? You've been styling the entire time from Wednesday to, uh, to today. Yeah. How, how much was, of that was like a mental or emotional shift after indoor? Because so much was asked of you for indoor, and you know, and I've watched you long enough to know that you look like it was just weighing that entire time in Birmingham. You yeah. just seem to kind of just be approaching it with so much more of calm and peace and a, and a fresh approach this Yeah, weekend. indoor, um, I really wanted to do all four events. I wanted to help out the team. I, I asked Coach to do it. And um, I felt like I handled the first day well, and some things didn't go my way the second day, but um, it was a good experience. And really, it taught me to not take moments for granted, because I did, at the end of the day, after indoor was like, dang, like that wasn't a lot of fun. Like, I was in nationals, gotta have fun with it. Like, no matter what happens, like, you only live once. Like, I know that's cliche, but, but this sport is fun, it's competitive. And at the end of the day, I just want to be happy with my career and like bring a smile to myself and people watching. Thanks for the time. Appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks again. Thank you.